Hi, welcome everyone. So in today's video, I am going to share you two new regression models which we can uh, run if our dependent variable is discrete, means it does not go into decimal places and, and the higher numbers have lower likelihood to happen. Just like number of terrorist attacks, uh, number of uh, crime rate, number of crime events, number of uh, um, events of um, climate change or uh, disaster events. So these variables, in this case, there are two competing models that can be used. First model is, I will write the words, that is XT poison, that is poison regression. And the other is the XTNB, that is panel a negative binomial regression. So before we start, uh, we can only use Poisson regression if the mean and variance of the dependent variable is equal. Otherwise, we have to use negative binomial. Other, uh, other than that, there are there are no much differences between them because both of them can be used in a case where the dependent variable is discrete. So first of all, we'll do the the descriptive stat sum for the dependent variable path. So we can see that the mean and standard deviation are not equal. So it's highly likely that we have to use negative binomial. So but for case of understanding, I will estimate both of them today. So XT poison. So first of all, we have to describe that it is panel data XT set ID here and then XT poison. So pet and I have a I will use two variables that is uh, CAP and open and then FE. So when I run this, it will give me that the observation are 599, groups are 36, the average years are 16 and the variables are significant. So this is uh, poison regression with fixed effect and then, then I will run similar model for using a negative binomial. So when I run this, it is also saying it is significant. So results are there. So you can uh, compare the results. The coefficients are little, little bit different for the variable, variable capital. And for open, the coefficients are also very different. So uh, comparing the models, since the mean and variance are non, mean and standard deviation are not equal. Uh, so pet variable is not following Poisson distribution. For our data to have a Poisson distribution, it should have mean and variance equal. So it is not following uh, by Poisson distribution, but it is discrete, then you can use uh, Poisson uh, negative binomial regression. So I hope you understood uh, the two models for the case of uh, discrete uh, dependent variable. And I have also given examples like it can be used for models where your dependent variable is number of crimes, number of uh, uh, climate change disasters, number of earthquakes, or any event where there's, uh, there, there are discrete outcomes, like number of people employed, number of people fired, number of, so where the, the demographic variable is there rather than, rather than dollars or rupees units or percentage units, its units are in demographic. Or number of people. So in this example, so you will be mostly doing this model. And the most common characteristic for poison regression is that higher higher number has less likelihood. For example, it's number of crimes. So bigger, more number of crimes in a year is less likely because there are deterring in deterring. Uh, institutions that are trying to stop it so this way uh, you understood you can understand that this model will be used thank you very much for watching